much warmer here in Dodoma guys definitely the weather is coming out now a bit more and um, blue skies I'm loving the vibe here in Dodoma so we're one of the on one of the streets here in the heart of the Doma in the city of the Doma and like I was saying it reminds me a bit of Tanga the way the roads are laid out and even the wideness of the place as well you even walk on here and you'll see like Barabara ya Moja, Barabara ya Mbili, Barabara ya Tatu, Barabara ya Tisa, you know, Barabara na Kumina Moja. Different numbers of the streets are labeled similar to what I was seeing in Tanga. So, yeah, it's amazing, guys. Let me show you a bit more here at the streets. But just to show you some of the reflection of the various cultures here in Tanzania and, of course, um, in the various cities where I've been I keep noticing that like you do always find different people that live here and here is the Sri Hindu Mandal which is here in Dodoma guys okay so kind of reflects the various multiculture that you will find throughout the Republic here in Tanzania and this is what it looks like from outside so that's an example so yeah man it's a multicultural city to some extent you got different peoples living here so yeah it's always a good vibe when you do find a mixture of people kind of creates that feeling that you know if you do visit here you you won't feel like you're just a total stranger because you got different people living here guys now this street here right is called CDA Street and we're literally on Mtawa Mbea here it's kind of probably named after Mbea city they have some connection or whatever from back in the days but here you will find banks like I said the Amana Bank you have the Vini real estate company here so yeah it's a good vibe man I'm liking uh, liking Dodoma right now you know and if you look, look at the wideness of the road guys if you see what i'm saying if you look at my if you go back and watch my tango videos you'll also notice that so you can see i'm, I'm seeing so many different shops here so that's a insurance company we also have a perfume shop here and someone had asked me in the past if you if you find dry cleaners in africa what a question but anyways yes there's also dry cleaners and stuff like that here or laundry some people say here laundrette sorry some people say here in um the doma you'll find all of that here lovely palm trees here man giving the city a bit of character i'm liking that But the Doma is definitely cool, man. It's definitely a cool, cool atmosphere, cool vibe. If you notice, it's not that busy in terms of you got a large traffic of people everywhere and it can be a bit congested. You're not sure. No, it's, it's not that kind of vibe. So if that's something that you're looking for, you could definitely check out the Doma, guys. Now, these what you're seeing here on the road, these are all roadside uh, stores. These are local businesses here. People selling things like socks, scarves, handkerchiefs, do rags. Even you got bags as well, local bags and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is a vibe here. We're walking into an area which is a bit more the local style, heading towards Saba Saba. Now, Saba Saba is one of the main areas here in Dodoma where you can get you'll find a market a big market local style market and you'll also find the bus terminal to take you to different places take you different places here in the doma so this is what it looks like here at the back is all local style business here closed business restaurants another government building here I can't be filming for too long but this is what it looks like from the outside so yeah 
Yeah, this is it. So this is like the beginning of what I would say Saba Saba and we're heading towards Saba Saba right now and um, this is the local style market in, in here so you'll find local businesses here guys this is what you expect to find when you come here you see local businesses bags clothing different things like that will be found at the back they have a long way to go in terms of development i guess because here um you can see you know it's still a bit the roads are not paved or anything like that so you do need to pave the roads and stuff but so far it's it's so good if you're looking for reasonable prices on clothes and different things like that then this is the place you'll need to come and um what i would say about the domain comparison to even the markets i've been to in dar salaam it's not that congested with a large traffic of people if you notice that as we're walking through here you know but some 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 markets you visit here in Tanzania when you go it's very very much congested and um, it could be nerve-wracking sometimes you know but I, I don't really feel like feel like that being in this market so far this market is cool and this is quite a big one i'm just walking in one particular section but there's it's a large one that spans around maybe three kilometers or so there's different sections here but this one will lead us straight towards the bus station here in saba saba different local businesses here as you can see you know and we're really like it these are ndizi bananas and obviously local fruits are here as well Like I was saying, here you will find the Saba Saba bus terminal and this is for the local buses that is guys. If you're looking for local buses to take you to various areas here in Dodoma. This is Saba Saba bus terminal here. This is the Saba Saba bus terminal here in Dodoma. These are all the buses come as you can see happening here. They're coming in and then obviously here you'll just find a road of various local 
uh, businesses on this dirt road here in the Doma. So this is the more side of town which will I guess it's uh, it's progressing in terms of development in comparison to the other section where we were here in the Dodoma city. Okay guys right now I'm currently at the University of Dodoma here in the Chimwaga area around eight uh, 12 kilometers outside downtown Dodoma city okay now here it's over 6,000 hectares of uh, land which the university is on here and I think it's one of the biggest if not the biggest university in Tanzania and even East Africa is it's definitely bigger than Dar es Sal University of Dar es Salaam and it's definitely a place that is state of the arts guys I mean the amazing view you're getting to see of downtown Dodoma and the Dodoma city in general is absolutely stunning here guys I'm super excited to show this to you and it goes to show that really Tanzania is doing very well par excellence in trying to create great learning institutions here in the country have a look right now now if you look to your right you're getting to see the a good view of the city of Dodoma guys this is definitely beautiful and the students are in a perfect location here a conducive learning environment here in the University of Dodoma beautiful the University of Dodoma is a public university in central Tanzania located in Dodoma the country's capital the building is taking place on a 6,000 hectare site in the Chamwaga area eight kilometers east of downtown Dodoma so here we have hostel buildings and different sites here of the university but first I just want to start off by showing you this is I, I can't walk all of this today guys it's definitely a huge huge campus here in Dodomo guys as far as the eyes can see all these buildings you're seeing here this is all a part of the university and it's such in a strategic location here surrounded by the beauty of nature here in Dodoma guys this is absolutely stunning The university offers various undergraduate and postgraduate programs from nearly all fields of knowledge. In the College of Education, for example, several undergraduate programs are provided, with focus given to the issues facing education sector in Tanzania and abroad. There are 11 different bachelor degrees in the College of Education. So these are all students coming from classes that you can see here, guys. and. Um, of course, like I said, it's around eight kilometers away from downtown uh, city here in Dodoma. So yeah, this is pretty much it, man. It's just a quick tour I'm doing. Of course, there's certain things I can film, some things I can't film. But I just wanted to give you a glimpse of how, you know, Tanzania is doing quite good in creating very beautiful learning institutions and they do have international students as, as well uh, that studies at this place guys so perhaps you may want to learn something they do languages sciences a, a range of different courses are studied here so you may want to check out the university of dodoma So to my right, this is a canteen area for where the students come and uh, enjoy a meal, enjoy various beverages as well. And it's really, the play, the grounds is really looked after, guys.
really peaceful the environment is truly serene wow coming up to another section here of the university and I've noticed they've chosen to use the color white um, as the color of many of their buildings here so I guess that's a unique feature makes them stand out from some of the other universities I've visited here in Tanzania Wow, look at this guys, as far as you can see, these are really love paved roads, amazing sidewalks, surrounded by all this lush vegetarian here in the heart of East Africa. Wonderful learning institution. Okay guys, I do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to end the vlog here, but I do appreciate your time for watching my videos today. My name is Wimba Imani, and I really appreciate my subscribers. Thank you so much for your custom. And if you're new around here, welcome. Welcome to Inspire for Travel as we tour various places around the world. Do consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni sana Tanzania. Karibuni sana Dodoma.